Uh, Josh, you might have heard, you know, Pat uh, talk about, you know, Rajir and some of the other guys mm -hmm. earning trust. You know, uh, aside from maybe a performance like this, uh, as a veteran, what, what does it take for, for one of those younger guys to earn your trust? What do you have to see from them? Uh, I see it every day during practice. Um, we, we try to go after them every single day. Uh, we try to push them, put them in uncomfortable situations, see how they react to it. Uh, and they can, I mean, they're basketball players. They've been playing this game their entire lives. They love the game. And they're going to do what they want. They need to do to win. And we'll, what we ask of them is if that's what is needed to win, they're going to do it. They're very unselfish and very willing to, to learn and understand our, our concepts. And uh, I trust every single person on this team. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter who it is because we, we go to war every single day during practice. Josh, I saw you react when Pat mentioned the alley oop to uh, Mike and the final minutes there. Um, that came at like a point, at a point where you guys weren't getting a lot going offensively. What do you think that did for the momentum and maybe the confidence of the team to, uh, in a close game, pull out a victory? Um, well, I think it came up a steal, um, and I, I was running down that side, and all I heard the coach screaming at me to dump the ball. Uh, but I saw Mar and I saw Mike running down the side, and I mean, any change you have those two on the side, you just throw it honestly, uh, and that's just a very big momentum swing. Um, just getting him involved, getting him going, getting him to just to understand. Just like, like, we're still here. Like, we, we, we trust you. We're gonna throw you the ball. We're gonna, we're just gonna give you every opportunity to get back to being Mike Wagner, get back to playing your way. Like I, I pulled him aside after the timeout after that, and I said, "I'm gonna get you going. Like, you just have to keep it going. And we're we're just gonna keep this keep this uh this run going. We're just gonna try to pull out the W. We did." Outside of that dunk and the one against on the lob against Indiana, we haven't really seen too many of those athletic plays from Mike since he's come back. Mm -hmm. um, in today's game, what did you see for him that makes you feel like sooner or later Mike Watkins is going to be back to 100% what he was at the end of last year? And drop step and one dunk. Yeah, uh, it's just, that's Mike. Like, that's, that's the Mike we all, we, we all know. That's the Mike we've seen in the past. Like, he says to trust himself, and everything's going to be fine. Kind of going off of that, you know, you've played with him for a few years now, and mm. it, obviously what he's been going through off the court in the, the last few months. How nice was it to see him come and have a big impact performance here? Yeah, it's just Mike. As I expect that from every single game. I expect that from during practice. It's, it's just who he is, and that's I don't expect anything else from him. He's a big body. He has really, really long arms, really big hands. It just affects the game. Just his presence, and just that alone, he just makes an impact. And just understanding that when he can get a shot, when he needs to go to rebound, when he needs to be in help to, to go block a shot or just be there. It's just just seeing him do all that stuff again is just it's just reassuring that we're on the right path. Were you guys looking to get the ball to Razier early? Um I wanna say that. we were just running the offense, uh and a really just amazing shooter. Uh, it's the same shot every single time, uh, when he gets his feet set and we were just hitting today. Um, there was a couple of plays where I, I was just looking at him and he was just wide open. I was confused, so I just threw him the ball and he shot it and he made it and we just kept going. And he just stayed hot throughout the game. Just do what we knew we could do. Pat mentioned the uh, out of bounds play um, near, in the final minutes that you got a corner three on. Um, what was the was that the the look you're going for there? Because I know in the past uh, in the past couple of games, but some looks have been been for Lamar or Miles or some guys coming off screens, and you kind of just faded to the corner mm -hmm. um, without anybody uh, carving you. Um, what were, were you expecting to get the ball there? And what do you think that did to kind of how did you think that helped seal the game? Um, I mean, I think they were in a two three setup uh, for that play, uh, and then just uh, in, in the play that we ran, everybody's not. Every single person that's on the floor has a chance of getting a shot off. Um, I went, I drifted to the corner, and the man just slid up, and MJ made a great pass, and I was down and ready to shoot the ball. Um, but there was there was a couple different options. Um, yeah, I mean, coach just did a great job. We've been running that play for since I got here, since before I got here. Like, and it, it just works. This was a pretty prototypical Josh Reed's game in the box score in terms of just doing a little bit of everything. Does that help you on the offensive end? Maybe you felt like you could have shot it a little bit better, but you know, nine points for a nine is still you know, fairly efficient with everything else you're bringing. Do those things feed into each other? Um, I wouldn't say my. I've had games where I didn't, didn't really make shots. Uh, I just I just go out there and play. Uh, I play one. I try to play one way the entire time. 
Uh, it's ever since I got here. I mean, people say I play too energetic sometimes, but and I just need to be able to slow myself down. And I'm just going to try to contribute any way I can, uh, getting rebounds, passing the ball, finding open players, getting steals. Like I do, it's just, it's just something I try to do every day. Josh, when you have a couple of games like the last few, where maybe your shot has been falling quite mm -hmm. as often as it might normally. How does it affect you and help you play within yourself when you guy when you have guys like Ra and Myron that can step up and hit shots that they had the last few games? Um, it's frustrating sometimes, but you just have to understand like it's it's a long game. Um, you're gonna play thirty probably more minutes other than the shot that you're about to take. You just have to stay focused and stay locked in and just get ready to go. Um, and just just find shooters and just find players that are open, uh, work to get people open, run the sets to, that we have to the best that we can, and just things are going to be open for people. Uh, just they can get a they can really get it going. Uh, like you said, uh, we've seen that happen with MJ against Virginia Tech. We were out tonight in the past games. Like we just have a lot of different weapons all over the place, and um, just trying to take care of the ball as a team. Uh, and just finding open players is the most that we can do in, in situations like when every, the entire team isn't making shots. And you just got to play hard on defense. As the coach always says that when things aren't falling, when shots aren't going, just, just, just focus on defense and rebounding.